Hello everyone, uh, Dave here. Um, I just, you know, this is going to be coming at the beginning of uh, the video that I just recorded uh, a few hours ago and uh, I just, you know, I still want to release the video because I think it was, you know, a good idea that somebody had presented to me uh, and it dealt with um, potential spoilers for what's to come from Wizards of the Coast uh, going forward into 2017. Uh, one of the things that was mentioned in here is like the Tomb of Horrors and some other uh, adventure locations. Uh, they have announced their next supplement. Uh, it happened in between the time I recorded the video and when I sat down to start, uh, you know, getting ready for the upload. Uh, I'm not going to go into a lot of detail about it right now, but it looks like it's a collection of reprinted uh, classic adventures that have been updated for 5th uh, edition D&D. &D. Uh, the name of it completely escapes me at this point in time, uh, but it includes the Tomb of Horrors, uh, White Plume Mountain against the Giants and things of that nature. Uh, I don't know a lot about it yet, so I'll probably do a video on it as more information comes to light, but right now it looks like it is going to be a large collection of classic modules uh, to run with uh, with 5th edition D&D. &D. So, unfortunately, I didn't notice that before I recorded the uh, speculation video that you're going to see following this little clip here. Uh, but again, just to try to keep that uh, in mind as you watch the rest of the video, because there's other information in there. Uh, it's a quick one, but there's other information in there that may also become uh, relevant as well uh, going forward, because they haven't announced anything beyond that one book so far. Uh, so anyway, uh, just like I said, keep that in mind as you watch that. It was recorded before the information was released about their next book, uh, but I hope you enjoy nonetheless. YouTube Dave here again. Uh, this video is actually an idea that was uh, presented to me by one of uh, my viewers. Uh, it was a really cool idea and something I actually hadn't considered. And what it was was the Volo's Guide to the Forgotten Realms. Uh, contains some information in here that may be spoilers for some upcoming products that Wizards of the Coast may be planning to do in the, uh, the near future. So he wanted me to just kind of talk about some of the things that are presented in here and to see if it's possible that they may be uh, potential spoilers for what's to come. So we're going to start off with the Tomb of Horrors, which could be the next big adventure to be released uh, by Wizards of the Coast uh, for 5th uh, edition Dungeons & Dragons. So the Tomb of Horrors is a pretty classic adventure. Um, it was reprinted back, I think, in 2013. Uh, with the Dungeons of Dread series, which is pretty cool. That's the uh, the green demon uh, mouth. That's the iconic uh, thing that most people remember from that adventure. Uh, it wouldn't be the first time that they've done Tomb of Horrors. I think there was a return to it in 2nd edition AD&D, &D, I want to say. Uh, and also in 4th edition D&D, uh, &D, they had a Tomb of Horrors adventure that they released that was a, uh, a campaign for uh, 10th through 22nd level. And it featured other dungeons that the Lich uh, Aseric had uh, created. Uh, you've actually visit the original Tomb of Horrors in this, but it's uh, all of its magic is long spent and it's just this kind of empty dead tomb. So I think that that very well may be the next big uh, ad adventure that they do. Uh, they could build a campaign around it similar to what they did with 4th uh, with edition, which would, pretty, which would be pretty cool. Uh, there's also a chance they may do something with uh, Undermountain. Uh, I think that would make uh, for a great uh, full-on campaign if they wanted to do something like the 1st through 15th level ones that they, they've kind of gotten away from. If they want to do another giant uh, uh, adventure, though, like that, you know, Undermountain could be, uh, could be one that uh, would fit that, uh, fit that bill. Uh, also, it mentions places like uh, Karatura and Zakra, and there was also al -Kadim, I think. All three of those locations were set in uh, the Forgotten Realms, um, you know, being like Aztec, um, Arabian, and um, sort of, um, uh, I can't remember what the other one is now off the top of my head. I, I do apologize, I never had any of those uh, supplements when I was, uh, when I was playing second edition. Uh, I don't know how much they're going to have like Karatura and Zakara or even uh, al -Kadim. In uh, as a standalone type of thing, um, but I think it is possible that if they do a full-on campaign setting for uh, Fifth Edition D and D for Forgotten Realms, they may dedicate a more substantial uh, bit of uh, information or more pages to these locations uh, than they had in the past. But it'd be interesting if they decide to set uh, campaigns on the continents beyond just uh, simply Faerun. Uh, the reason that this was brought up is that you know uh, Barovia. Uh, was the setting for Curse of Strahd, which was uh, released in 2015. 
um, or 2016. Yeah, I think, sorry, I think it was 2016 that that came out. Uh, but anyway, so they, they did have that in there, so it's possible that some of the things that they have in here may be uh, an indication of what's to come. Uh, they also mentioned Sigil, which was part of the Planescape campaign setting, uh, and Sigil is a, a location that they've used in several adventures in the past. Uh, so again, it may be something that uh, they could do some sort of uh, plane hopping campaign. Uh, where they use the different uh, different planes, and uh, you know, Sigil being sort of the uh, the central hub that maybe ties that together. Uh, it's it's hard to say. Uh, I think the Tomb of Horror ones is probably the strongest candidate for a standalone release for uh, Wizard of the Coast going forward. Um, but anyway, I just wanted to you know, he pointed out that this does have uh, some like some potential spoilers for something that could be used for future campaigns. And uh, he was right. I, I am sorry. I forget your uh, your name at this point in time. Uh, I will definitely credit you in the description of the video. It's just my laptop's not accessible for me. And uh, I have a few minutes to record a quick video, so I wanted to do that uh, as quickly as possible before uh, my fiance and, uh, and daughter get home. Uh, she's picking her up from, from school now. So uh, anyway, uh, let me know what you think. If uh, you think it's a possibility that they will be having uh, the Tomb of Horrors, if you'd like to see Zakara and uh, Karatura as uh, standalone books or part of Adventures as well, uh, or if you think there's a possibility that they could do something with, uh, with Undermountain. Anyway, uh, thank you guys very much for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time.